Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis. And in this video, we're going to do an R illustration of how to save your code and the results to a text file. Now, this isn't a very high-tech way to do it. It's actually pretty low-tech, but it's reliable and it works and it's one approach. So here on the left side is your, is your script file where you write your code. And a matter of fact, I'm going to delete some things. I want to show you what I did first. Um, and the problem is we want to show that a matrix A is positive definite. How do we do that? So we enter our, our information into a matrix A. And then I first wanted to check to see if it was symmetric. So I did this. And I got an error. It's like, oh, there's a dimension problem. Or, and I'm like, what happened? And then I think, oh, I got to uh, tell it that, I, that it's a two by two matrix. And then I, then I said, I'm going to print it out just to make sure. And this is it. And now I look at a, a transpose are the same, so it's symmetric. And then I look at the eigenvalues. They're all positive. So a symmetric matrix with positive eigenvalues is positive definite. And so... Matri uh, so A is positive definite, and that's how we showed it. Now, now the reason that I showed you my mistake is because what happens over here in the console, which is the you know output window, it doesn't matter right now. You you write your code, you make mistakes, and when it's finished or when it's 100% ready, then I'll show you how to save it. So what happens over here in the meantime, it doesn't matter. And then in uh, in R, the uh, tic-tac-toe sign, and the, the math term for that is called an octothorpe. So the octothorpe is how you write comments in R. So if we submit that, oh, well, the way R Studio works. If I just submit that, it just prints it to the console and R knows that it's a comment to not do anything. And so you can comment your work as you go. So problem two, very verify the matrix inverse property. So we enter matrices A, B, C, and vector A, and we print them out. The semicolon is the way you can do that in all in one line. So there they are. And then we can solve for A. So that's A inverse, B inverse, C inverse. This is the identity matrix. Now I use some all equal signs, A, A transpose. Remember the solve is how you do a tr uh, transpose, inverse. The solve is an inverse uh, function in R. So is A, A inverse equal to the identity matrix? And the answer is yes. Then we look to see if A inverse A is the identity matrix, and it is. We do that for all matrices. Then we go on to the inverse of A times B, and this is it. But there's an in, the inverse property says if we take the inverse of B times inverse of A, that is equal to the inverse of AB. And so these two should be equal. And if we just look at the matrices, they are equal, or we could put them in an all equal function to check, and they are. So here we have the product of ABC is that solve ABC, so that's the inverse of the matrix ABC, and to show that they are inverses of each other, we could take the product of those and see if it's the identity matrix, and it is. Now, one of the inverse properties, matrix inverse properties, is that if we take the inverse of ABC, that's the same as the inverse of C, times the inverse of B times the inverse of A. The, uh, the matrices are reversed, and they should equal. So let's run that. And just by visual inspection, they look identical. We could use the all equal function, and they are true. And now here's a little illustration of the sherman morse formula. If we want to solve, or not solve, the, the inverse of matrix A the matrix inverse of B plus A, A transpose. Remember, A is a vector, and transpose in this, so this A 
transpose A creates a two by two matrix that we can add to B, then we take the inverse of it. Okay. Then this crazy formula is, was given in one of the formulas as a property. And if by visual inspection, they are the same, or we could put it in the all equal sign. Um, so now we're ready to submit all of this and save it. So what we do up here in the right, there's a little broom that you can click on and it clears the console or you can come over to edit and clear console and it clears it now you come back to your code and you uh, control a which selects everything over there and then control enter which runs everything and then in your console if you right click and select all and then right click again and click copy you can't do control C because it doesn't work in this case and now we have all of this copied to the clipboard now it kind of looks funky and that's just because the way it word wraps if we expand this window notice that it saved it okay and that's it so now you open your text editor or you know Microsoft Word or whatever text editor you're using and hit control paste and then this is pasted right into it now you have to make sure to use a font that is uh, you know constant spacing so you have might have to use courier or something like that where you know it treats every character the same space on the on the on the document okay well that's all I have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.